Hi there, it's a uh, Friday morning, it's about 6, my computer says 6.40 in the morning um, before the Canadian Grand Prix. Sorry, I've been a little bit late uh, with this uh, video blog, didn't do anything last week. But uh, yeah, we're here in Montreal, another hotel room. <laughs> I seem to be doing all my video blogs from a hotel room somewhere. Uh, I will try and change location, I promise, for the next one. But um, yeah, Montreal is a really cool city. It's my first time here in uh, in Canada. I've never been here to the country, forget the city. And um, yeah, it's really cool. I came uh, on Tuesday and we've had a couple of days now just looking around the city and having uh, dinner. There's so many good restaurants um, around here. We've had some fantastic food. I uh, had some uh, entertaining evenings, uh, mainly surrounding trying to crack walnuts with a walnut cracker, but let's not go into that. Uh, the circuit itself looks uh, narrower than I expected. I think, um, you know, when you watch it on TV, you don't really realize how narrow it is, especially through turns three and four, and also uh, through the last chicane uh, near the Wall of Champions, which seemed to be, uh, you know, quite a talking point over here. I'm looking forward to uh, going out there today, actually. The, the sun has finally come out. It's been really pretty bad weather um, this week. Uh, it was raining on Tuesday, it was raining again yesterday the whole day. We had to walk around the track in the rain and it was actually quite cold. It reminded me of being in England. But um, it, it looks like the forecast is clearing up for today, tomorrow. Sunday is still looking a bit iffy, but um, we'll see how it goes. It's going to be uh, it's going to be an interesting weekend. I think um, you know with with the circuit the way it is, this, this track surface breaks up apparently a lot. Uh, from what other guys were telling me, obviously I have no uh, no prior experience, um, but also just going offline, I think marbles and stuff like that is is a big problem over here. So it could be quite a tricky race for us uh, trying to get out of the way while we're being lapped and things like that. It's it's quite a short lap as well. It's only a one minute sixteen or seventeen lap, so. It's going to be, uh, you know, I think a tricky race for us, um, especially with a with a quicker cars coming fast. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, I have to say the fans here have been pretty incredible. I didn't realize it's quite so French speaking the area. Um, after mid, I came here with uh, maybe a slightly wrong preconceived idea that uh, we're going to be hearing more American accents and a, a bit more of a North American feel. Uh, but to be honest, it feels like we're racing in um, in the middle of France somewhere. Uh, it's great atmosphere though at the circuit. So many people, and it's such a fantastic location with the with the water and the river around it. And the, it's it's really a, a very unique place. Uh, the paddock's quite cozy and quite cramped as well, so you you get to bump into a lot of people and and chat with a lot of people from other teams, which uh, you don't otherwise get to do in in you know the big wide open paddocks, especially like Shanghai, which is that's quite bad really in Shanghai because it's so big you can't see anybody. Um, so anyway, I've got to shoot off and get ready and, and shoot off the circuit and uh, we'll catch up with you guys uh, next week. Bye.